Well, there is a shocking story coming in from Tanzania that any time from now we can see Harmonize announcing Diamond Platinum's manager as his new manager. That is Salam SK, the top boss at Wasafi, looks like he has fallen out with Diamond Platinum's and signs are showing that they are not seeing eye to eye. Welcome to East Africa Social Television. How are you guys? And where you're watching us from? Rock and David is my name. Don't forget to go in the right bottom corner, smash the black button that has our subscribe after subscribing, hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified every time I upload a video onto this channel. It's known it's it's not it's not the usual situation in the Wasafi and Konde Gang because Konde Gang is losing its manager or they've already lost their manager that is Frida Kajara. Frida Kajara came out like a week back and put up a post announcing officially that she has departed the ship she has been with she has been in with Harmonize I think for some good six months and it's the second time in a row these two have really broken up and the ship is no more. That means Harmonize has a vacant position at Conde Gang and he's looking for a manager to announce. He went up and put up a story on his Instagram that I'm going to announce my manager on my show that I'm holding on the 25th of December. And obviously those are like 10 days from now for Harmonize to go out and announce his new manager. Diamond Platinums and Salam announcing eye to eye according to what is happening. Salam has taken months without posting anything concerning Diamond Platinums. What really, caught, what really caught the eye of many is the birthday of Zuchi when he really when he really never posted never posted to wish Zuchu a very happy birthday yet she yet he has always been one of those people that have come in through to put Zuchu into recognition at the at the Tanzania best music label known as Wasafi in there for you but what is beating my understanding is simple harmonize came out and told us that the only person that was responsible for his departure out of Wasafi was Salam SK. He told us in his own words, I think in an interview, that he went to Mama Dangote. Mama Dangote was okay with him staying in Wasafi. Diamond Platinum was okay with it. But obviously Salam SK stood his ground and said, gate harmonize out of this. Out of this. Out of this. Out of this. Um, label and he left and suddenly he's gone again. They made him pay close to one billion, one billion Tanzanian shillings. Just it that he regains full rights to his music, his name, and all the performing rights of his songs. And they told him if at all he does perform those songs without clearing the clearing Wasafi, then he's going to be sued and imprisoned. So it was really a very tough situation. And how come is Harmonize uniting with a person that really caused him leave Wasafi? Maybe it was a plan drawn by Salam Eske that leave. Let me plan that I'm really throwing you out of Wasafi and we go because Diamond Platinum looks like he's taking everything and maybe Diamond is having some problems with Salam SK because Salam looks to be like a principled man but he is the right hand man for Diamond. Trust me, I think I now know why Diamond Platinum has not been performing well musically this year because of Salam SK's not being involved into his works. You've seen Diamond Platinum travel to America, he has gone to Australia, he's going to Dubai, even his recent trip to Dubai, at, sorry to Qatar. He was not with Salam SK, but Salam used to be the right hand man of Diamond. Wherever Diamond went, Salam SK was with him. And I know Salam is really fluent at speaking English, and he is really a person who is a good manager and has negotiated very many deals for Diamond Platinum. They've been together for so long, and it will be so much hurting to see that these two have really broken up. But very many issues are really coming up at at Wasafi. Artists have been leaving Wasafi, but managers have been increasing. This time round, it's vice versa, and it's managers starting to quit Wasafi. Remember, he had Babutale and Salam Eske. Then he went ahead to get on the manager of Navi Kenzo to the two that we are managing Diamond Platinums, and there are now three managers. Now, <laughs> artists have left. Diamond left. Uh, not Diamond. Harmonize left. Um, this guy that sang the song known as uh, that song of Harmonize where he sang about Vera Sidika. 
I've forgotten that guy. That song was really a hit. The bit that ting, 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 ting. I think you know that song very well. That guy also left, was the first to leave. Then they reunited with Harmonize after quitting Wasafi. Now Ray Vani has also left, and he left in a way of having some misunderstandings with the Maplatnams. He was also made to pay a lot of money to Wasafi to regain rights of his music. For that, I'm okay with the compensation because these record labels get these artists from, from dust and they raise them to what they are and they're earning money from their talent. So for that, they, are, they should pay. They should pay the money. Then later, they should take over rights or reown the rights of their music, names, and videos, especially that thronging income coming in from the social media platforms and streams is really great for them. So I believe it's going to be a shock if at all we see Harmonize announce his new manager on the 25th of December as Salam SK. And obviously, it's going to be like um, a revenge. You know H-Baba? H-Baba is one of those, those entertainers, MCs, dancers that is famous in Tanzania. He was on the guard of Harmonize for a very long time and that first hit song that Harmonize recorded as soon as he had left left Wasafi known as Uno, he was that man that was really dancing, growing and was spinning to the ground and then springing up. Eh? You get? He was like a springboard. Eh? So that guy, I think he came out and left and left and left Konde Gang and is now affiliated to Wasafi. He has been throwing or blowing hot and cold to harmonize. And now, it's going to be a very huge equalizer for Diamond Platinums because for Diamond Platinums, when he went to fish in the lake of harmonize, that is the Konde Gang Lake, he fished at Lapia. But for harmonize, has gone in and fished what we call a Nile patch from the lake of wasafi so guys this guy if you don't know him salam sk he's the brain behind everything diamond platinum has achieved in music so if he crosses to harmonize as a person who is really objective i believe harmonize is a better artist than diamond platinums that's it and i believe if salam sk works with harmonize Harmonize is going to rock Africa and the world. That's it. And it is going to call for Diamond Platinums to look for a competent manager to go on and really run business business as Salam SK used to run it at Wasafi. So guys, I don't know what your thoughts are. Harmonize to take over Diamond's manager, that is SK. That announcement is expected 25th of December. Obviously, he was seen shaking hands at any event. I think they were in Kenya with Harmonize. They shook hands with Salam SK, meaning that they are now back. Because the last time they met, it was at the barrio of Babutale's wife. He shook hands with Diamond Platinums. He shook hands with Rayvani. He shook hands with Zuchu. He shook hands with Mboso, I'm meaning Harmonize. But when he reached to, to Salam SK, Salam SK shunned, shunned Harmonize's hand, meaning that he had bad blood with him but we saw them shaking hands together and i believe salam sk looks like he's going to cross to konde gang and we are going to be here waiting to see the aftercomings of this and we are going to bringing you everything concerning harmonize taking over diamond platinum's manager that is salam sk the news is all over everywhere and let me read you this story coming in from j Maudaku. This is one of the biggest, the biggest bloggers coming in from Tanzania. And this is what he said that it is said that Salam SK and Diamond Platinums are not the same nowadays. All Diamond Platinums recent tours, Salam has not been seen there. During the launch of Bosso's EP, he, he was not seen and he has not posted anything about the EP or WCB in recent days. And it's normal. Harmonize has announced and it's not normal. Harmonize has announced to announce his new manager on 25th at his Harmonite event on the 25th of December. Obviously, it's expected that he is going to go on and announce this guy as his manager. You, might, you know, you guys are fond of saying that Rokani is talking of things that are not evident. Let me try to show you this post before I even sign out because it's Harmonize. It's Harmonize 
putting this up and confirming to us that he is going to announce his new manager and we don't know who his new manager is going to be is it going to be an announcement of sk salam and the entire east africa is waiting to see to it that they they announce this manager because he is really one of the best and let's see how diamond platinum is going to cope up when he's not having when he's not having salam sk because without him music is really down as you've seen it his streams are down no hit this year if at all you are really genuine diamond platinum has been consistent for the previous years with registering with with an annual hit every year but this year we've not had something sweet from diamond platinum that is a he has released very many songs but obviously most of them are really out that is the story that harmonize put out there saying that wow 2025 20, surprise artists plus new manager don't miss the big night in the game harmonize night 2022 tickets out tomorrow my new manager two million table reserved 25th december will be a night to remember meaning that it's going to be a huge announcement that harmonizes new manager is is it going to be salam ask salam or someone else Let's wait and see. Your reactions are welcome in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Breaking story coming in from Tanzania and Rokan David has brought it to you here on East Africa Social Television. Good night and may the Lord bless you abundantly. We are back like we never left.